So you don't have a stacked roster, you don't have ninja, you don't have all the expensive legendaries to farm sand devil, and you still want to do sand devil 24. Here's how you do it. Yo! What up dudes, welcome back to another episode of Ray Shadow Legends. So today, I'm proud to present to you a team that is composed with full epics only champions that is able to farm Sand Devil 24. Okay, let's quickly take a look at who is in this team. Alright, so, okay. These are the dudes that you will be using in um, Sand Devil Stage 24. Let's go over the core members of this team. The first one would be Dimitha. Alright. Dimitha is irreplaceable, unfortunately, in this Speed Tune team. Um, if you have her, it doesn't matter what kind of gear sets you put on her. Okay. Um, just don't put relentless gear on her <laughs> okay just make sure her stats are tanky enough with 180 speed Does, doesn't require any masteries okay um the next guy be rune keeper daster rune keeper daster along with dimita cannot be replaced unfortunately these two really cannot be replaced in this speed tune com and um, for rune keeper you need um, regen gear and immortal gear don't really need the masteries um, so the stats are like this if you haven't watched how I use rune keeper daster please go and watch all right in my previous video do it do it do it do it okay so very good hit point defense and 211 speed right don't really need masteries but if you did do get masteries on him this is the masteries that you can just copy out okay um fully booked all right don't re don't really need the best thing fully book his skill uh, a2 and a3 as for dimita just now um you need to fully book her a2 and a3 as well okay so these two members cannot be replaced. The next guy, our revive on death guy, will be Light Swan, right? Light Swan, you can be re replace him with um, Crimson Helm because they have the same um, four turn cooldown on the revive on death. Okay, you need to fully book the revive on death on Light Swan, but. For like Swan, you don't want to fully book his A2. Reason being, you might, you need to use his one hit, okay? And he it needs to be on a four turn cooldown. So this uh, A1 is whatever. Don't really need masteries on like Swan, but if you do, you can get him some of these um, tanky uh, masteries. As for artifacts, definitely go with a uh, speed set because you need above um, 271 speed, okay, a good amount of defense and hit point. Try to keep all your champions at a low la low amount of resistance, okay. Um, okay, so those three are the core. The next two guys featured in this video. The first one is Mr. Dark Kale. Okay, so you don't have Ninja, free to play champ, and I feel you because I don't have Ninja as well. <laughs> All right, um, Dark Kale, you need to pretty much do uh, Doom Tower easy mode. Okay, he is relatively e um easy to get at early stages um, you cannot assess Taya yet 
even I don't have Taya yet <laughs> after a year of playing. Um, so this is the best option for HP burn activation. As for artifacts, you can pretty much put him in um, perception or accuracy set. You don't really require bolster set if you are only using him for sand devil. If you are using dark kill to farm things like ice golem, regeneration set would be better. Okay. Um, need to fully book his A1 for sand devil. A2 and A3 don't matter. But if you are using dark kill in other areas, then I suggest you also book his A2 and A3 because you might need them. Okay. Don't really need the blessing. Um, as for masteries, went with um, defensive tree masteries and support tree masteries, obviously. Okay, these are the masteries that you can just copy. Um, don't really matter if he has arcane celerity or cycle of magic just for dark kill, okay? Not other champions because he only needs his A1. Okay, so. The stats are relatively tanky on the defense um, because he's an attack based champion, right? So, and he's not doing a lot of raw damage based on attack. So, you can just um, put him in HP or defense percentage gloves and chest piece. Okay? Don't really need accuracy for Sand Devil, but you will need accuracy for other areas of the game if you're landing poison okay so these are the stats for dark kill and the last guy which is very very underrated is none other than jotun all right jotun why jotun you might ask this guy is rated um 2.5 in hell hades website Okay, um, but he has one skill that no other champion has in this game, which is a single target HP burn that gives four turns of HP burn. That means four ticks of HP burn minimum. <laughs> okay, so on a good day, if, if you have um, something like a Master Hexer proc, right? He will land 5 turns of HP burn. Okay? No other champ can do this in this game. So, these are the masteries for Jotun. Don't really need offense tree because his raw damage is weak. His job in this game is a HP burner. As you can see, I did not fully um, max out the Divine Scroll. You only need to come down to uh, Eagle Eye. That's all. <laughs> Alright, um, need to fully book his um, A2, uh, the A1 and A3 don't matter at all in this game, don't really require blessing. As for artifacts pieces, went with a full perception set, okay, um, have a decent amount of accuracy and survivability, uh, and then speed tune him to 186 speed okay so dark kill speed dark kill will go after jotun he's at 183 speed so you don't have a ninja and then you want to activate burn so let's quickly take a look how this um, team will function in stage 24 okay the presets of this team is uh, relatively the same uh, for Dimita, Light Swan, and Runekeeper Dastard. Dimita will open with the A3 and into the A2. Light Swan, we will open with the A3 and then we will also prioritize the A2. Um, Runekeeper Dastard, the same, open with A3 and into the A2. For Dark Kale, we will lock off um, the A2 and A3, we will only use the A1. Um, and for Jotun, you will lock off the A3 and prioritize the A1. Uh, A2, sorry. Okay, so let's see how this team will work. 
So let me briefly explain how this team would work at one time speed. Um, like Swan would use the revive on death, so everyone revives, right? So it's like Swan's turn again. He'll go ahead and do the one hit. And Runekeeper Duster would heal. So it's Jotun's turn. He's gonna land the burn, right? Look at that, five turn. <laughs> Can you see that? <laughs> five turn, and then Dark Kale is very subjective. The A1 right here, each hit will activate, have a chance to activate the burn, right? Um, so it's really, really RNG. The run can be quite slow, to be honest, but this is a budget team. Can't really expect a lot, all right? See, so that he took around, activated around two ticks of HP burn right there. And when the boss takes a turn, he is going to take one more tick of HP burn. So that is three ticks. Look at that, okay? So we'll go on full auto. So at a good day, Dark Kale would activate a um, maximum of three ticks of HP burn. That will speed up the run a lot, but at a bad day, he will not activate a single <laughs> tick of HP burn. So this is the downside of this having a Dark Kale, but what to do, right? Dark Kale is obtainable for every player. Okay, so this concept of uh, building this team, right, is built around the idea of having either you have a brimstone or not. Okay, so if your account have um, level one to level four brimstone at best, then it's equivalent to having no brimstone in Sand Devil. <laughs> okay, the, with that big brain logic, this team is composed. All right. So we will fast forward to the end of the fight and we will see how much we do with this team. Okay, so unfortunately, quite a long run. My best time would be 8 minutes, 20 seconds using this team. Okay, um, so as I said, Dark Chaos A1 is not a 100% burn activation. That is why um, it depends on his moon, <laughs> whether he wants to activate the burn or not. Really, really RNG based, but this is an option that you can use if you really don't have a ninja. And this team is full epics only. As for Jotun, you can replace Jotun with uh, any champion that does um, 3 turn HP burn. For example, uh, one good example is, uh, let me quickly find that champion. Bulwark, Mr. Bulwark, all right. Mr. Bulwark has a hundred percent chance to land HP burn for two turns, and he on a three-turn cooldown, right? Um, of course, the more HP burn ticks you have, the better, right? But if you don't have Jotun, you can just replace that spot with any champion that does the HP burn. At a three turn cooldown, that's all. Okay, 
Jotun is the best because he gives a lot of HP burn ticks. <laughs> okay, um, so this would be the team showcase I have for you today. Um, if you are on a budget, you can use this team, and hopefully, you will be able to farm the Sand Devil twenty four efficiently. This team is relatively um, high win rate and easy to use okay i would say easy to use so good luck on your farming catch you later on the next one